um, now they've overthrown it. They've lied and said there's giant troop movements that weren't happening, shown fake stuff from two years ago of Russian jets on the tarmac, done all this provocation, grabbed 93% of the country, and then claimed the Russians are the ones invading the nation when all they're doing is securing their assets, not romanticizing the Russians. And now they're caught again at the New York Times. This is Kurt Nemo's article. New York Times issues back page retraction on Russian troops in Ukraine photos. I mean, the headline should be, and Kurt does a great job. The headline should be New York Times caught creating fake war propaganda in Ukraine, just like Iraq. I mean, there's no end. Now, here's why Paul Watson joins us on this front, but also multiple cities. How do you pronounce this? Slavyansk has had armored vehicles, tanks, and troops. It's a pro-Russian, mainly Russian area. Slam into the town, blowing up buildings. We got B-roll of that. This is going into a major civil war. The Russian foreign minister, Lavrov, said yesterday that Russians, if this kind of stuff happens, will respond just like South Ossetia and Abkhazia in Georgia in 2008. We take you now to London with Paul Watson to give us his take on this. This is really deteriorating fast. We'll see the Russians start pouring in probably. It'll end up with a divided Ukraine, the Russians with the East, NATO with the West, bare minimum. Or if NATO decides to fight the Russians, World War III. Or is it higher level stage with Putin, like Hitler and Stalin, to divide Poland, fast forward, divide Ukraine? What's your gut and intel tell you, Watson? Well, Alex, I mean, I predicted weeks and months ago that it would end up in this sectarian civil war and that's exactly what's unfolding. Because that was the Brzezinski plan. Yeah, but what's amazing is not only are they allowing that to happen, but they're actually escalating it by engaging in, in these hoaxes. We've seen two giant monumental fabrications in the past two weeks launched basically by the post-coup Kiev government backed by the Obama administration. Of course, last week we saw this fake letter handed out to Jews in Donetsk telling them that they had to register, they had to hand in their passports and, quote, make a confession of faith. That was splashed across the mainstream media liberally. Of course, they were using it to imply that the pro-Russian forces in eastern Ukraine are Nazis who want to round up Jews and put them in camps. When it's actually, actually the other way around, just like with the Bundy thing, they're now supposedly racist because they don't want to abort blacks. Yes, it's exactly the other way around. The right sect of fascist neo-Nazis were put into power. They got three top government positions immediately after the Kiev coup, which itself, as you mentioned before, was backed by billions and billions of dollars of U.S. aid. Uh, the State Department, Pierre Audemars, working with the NGOs to fund that uprising in the first place, which led to neo-Nazis gaining power. So they put the neo-Nazis into power, uh, they armed them, and then they accused Russia of doing exactly what they've done. So after that came out as a hoax, the, the local rabbi in Donetsk said, this is, this is complete fabrication. The individual who supposedly signed the letter came out and said, I never signed this letter. They made it up. It was a complete fabrication to demonize the pro-Russian forces. When every time you look at them, they've got swastikas crossed out. They've got anti-fascist signs, regalia. And it's the, it's the neo-Nazi right sector that literally wear the Waffen SS armbands who are marching around in Ukraine with guns and weapons. So we had that complete hoax. The mainstream media kept reporting it for days after it was already approved in a hoax. Then they had to retract. Now we've had this one over the past few days. The, again, the post-Kiev government produced this dossier of evidence claiming that Russian special forces troops that were active in Georgia in 2008 were now active in eastern Ukraine. So, of course, making the claim that not only were they influencing that, but they were actually directing the anti-government protest attacks on government buildings in eastern Ukraine. So it turned out that, again, it was complete fabrication. The Obama administration took the evidence, presented it, then the New York Times regurgitated it. Basically, they present photos of so-called Russian special forces in Georgia and then in eastern Ukraine six years later. Uh, one, the, the Russian special forces soldier that is pictured is a completely different guy to the one that was in Georgia back in 2008. Then they present another individual with a full balaclava face mask on and say, look, this is the same guy who was in Georgia 
as was in Crimea recently, a Russian Special Forces soldier. You couldn't tell it was the same guy. His face was completely covered. Nobody could even tell. They later had to backtrack on it after the BBC did an analysis and basically were honest for a change and said there's no evidence that these are the same guys. Yet this was presented as bombshell evidence by both Kiev and the Obama administration and then dutifully regurgitated by the New York Times. Turns out it's a hoax. Of course, the original report was on page A1. The retraction is on page nine. So again, they bury it deep down into the newspaper. But again, it shows you they're so desperate to escalate, even though it threatens literally World War Three, that they're now engaging in blatant fabrications to do so. Well, most wars get started that way. About a week ago, I was on the street downtown and some guy goes, man, why are you supporting the Russians in Ukraine? And I go, are you Ukrainian? He goes, no, I'm Polish. And I said, I'm not supporting the Russians. I just don't want a war. I, I don't have a dog in the fight. And he goes, well, just so you know, the Russians are going to purge the Jews, the letter. And I went, no, that's been admitted to be fake. And he goes, you conspiracy theorist. More and more people are discovering the incredible benefits of alkalizing the body. And there's no better product for it than AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops. Packed with a powerful combination of the most alkaline minerals and compounds, just a few drops in water will rid your body of harmful waste and give you more vibrance and vigor than you've had in years. Now buy two bottles and get $10 off your order. Call 800-518-7615 or visit alkavision.com. Alkalize your body. Supercharge your health at alkavision.com. Every day it becomes more clear our nation is headed towards an uncertain future. Nothing can ensure your family's security like an Atlas Survival Shelter. The strongest money can buy and designed to be buried up to 42 feet deep with all the comforts of home and all the protection you need. Bulletproof hatches, tamper-resistant air pipes, and a unique ground design that'll withstand a bomb. See them today at IWantThatBunker.com or call 1-855-4-BUNKER. Atlas Survival Shelters. Better prepared than scared. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Hey, this is Steve Sanchez. Worried about the Wall Street Casino? Yeah, me too. Wondering when the stock market is going to collapse? You probably want answers, but you know you can't trust the global elite. Well, my good friend Brett Kitchen, best-selling author, has created a DVD set called The Millionaire Black Box. And for a limited time, you get free access. Call 1-800-259-3131. Find out how the global elite invests without having to deal with the global elite themselves. 1-800-259-3131. 1-800-259-3131. Attention all radio listeners, Survival Life is giving away free credit card knives exclusively to our radio listeners here today. Visit MyCreditCardKnife.com to see this covert knife in action and claim yours for free. It's the same knife you've seen in the airline magazines for $29.95, but today it's yours free. Just pay shipping and handling. MyCreditCardKnife.com, MyCreditCardKnife.com. Go now. Some folks are raised, silver spoon in their hand. Ooh, don't they help themselves? Some folks are born, made to wait to fly. Ooh, the red, white, and blue. The red, white, and blue. And when the band plays, help to the chief flood knows. They point the cannon at you. It ain't me.
Monday through Friday. Some folks are born 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central. Don't they help themselves? Don't they Harry Reid's son. The tax man gives them the key to the land. And what the white is not the left for school and hell. Yeah. And it's the ones robbing everybody that keep talking about welfare and how they love everyone. Everyone's racist but them. It's a really good song. Going back to Paul Watson. Paul, it's like we're sitting here on the eve of destruction, just calmly watching the globalists that run our country try to overthrow Syria with Al Qaeda, trying to start a war with Russia. You got Lavrov saying, if you continue to attack Russian held areas, we're going to attack you and respond like Georgia. And then today, for those that don't know, Kiev military op, Ukrainian army tanks smash into Russian held towns. And we've got some of the B-roll uh, that we can show folks uh, up on Infowars.com. We do have that B-roll on our video list as well, of burning buildings, smoking uh, cars, uh, rocket attacks, you name it. And we'll, we'll roll some of that while uh, Paul Watson is talking. Paul, why do you think the globalists that run the West are this crazed? Because in their everyday lives, they're very craven, very cowardly criminals. But when it comes to the world destruction, they seem to be very bold. Do you think there's some type of backroom deal with Pootie Poot that he'll get part of Ukraine and they'll get the other part? Because I don't really see that, though in the past, those type of deals are done. I haven't seen any evidence to that effect, Alex. Obviously, they've They've adopted a new tactic of provocateuring these faux color revolutions around the world, and some of them get out of hand, as this one has, obviously. Now, as you mentioned, in Slavyansk, they've got Ukrainian tanks rolling in. They've shot dead five anti-government protesters. And again, you know, anti-government protesters in Kiev, when they're storming buildings, that's a good thing. When it happens on, for the pro-Russian side, it's a bad thing. You know, when they've got fighter jets rolling in, armored vehicles, artillery. If Assad does that in Syria, that's a bad thing. But if the new post-coup Washington-approved Kiev government d does it, it's a good thing. So we're not pro-Russia, we're anti-hypocrisy. And I'm sick of hearing this Russian propaganda thing every time you turn on CNN. Russian propaganda, Russian propaganda, as if they couldn't entertain for a second the notion that there's NATO propaganda, there's EU propaganda, there's Washington propaganda. It's just the, the level of intelligence that they afford to their viewers is so minimal. It's a complete insult. And we're showing what looks like uh, Russian helicopters that the Ukrainians have. I don't know if those are Heinz or Floggers or whatever. They, there's a bunch of them. But the point is, is that uh, those look like Heinz uh, coming in. Uh, yeah, and those are Ukrainian uh, I guess they got from the Russians previously, I guess, for war with the Russians. I mean, this is not a good situation, Paul. But I guess what really matters is the missing Malaysian airplane, right? Or did you hear about the latest with Lady Gaga? She thinks her uh, uterus is uh, possessed. That's, that's the top story. That's what we should all be talking about, Alex. Miley Cyrus has been swinging around on a wrecking ball. <laughs> did you hear about Jay-Z? He had his pants hanging down around his ankles. Stay there, Watson. Thank Next you. hour coming up. Stay with us. We're going to take your calls. Ton of news. Bunch of special reports. Stay with us. From the water table to our soils to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139.